Hi guys, Legend of One the One here once again. Bring you some more Melly Mac. I think a Christian woman on YouTube, baby. Who? As you fire to him. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about, you know. <laughs> uh, Christian myself. Fellow Christian to Christian. Hey, you got to support. You got to support the Christian show. You got to support. Don't eat much on YouTube, you know. Don't eat much on that platform. So, hey, there's a few of us. So, like, share, subscribe, go follow Melanie Mac. You know what I'm saying? She is lit. Her content is really good. You know what I'm saying? She gets in, puts her information in, gets out. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't go for too long. And that's what I'm saying. She has perfect content. Um, so, yeah. Let's get into this show. Remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And to place you're going to find your boy, Legends World 101. Go the, go the extra mile. Cash app, you know, to do all my information down there, yo. All the little social, you know. So, yes, let's get in there. Let's check her out what she has to say. Well, it looks like Red Sonia has possibly escaped the woke curse. Therefore, there is a chance this could actually be something good. What's up, my boo? Hey, Red Sonia, Bridget Nielsen. Incredible. Her physique, the height, stature. And her good looks. Oh my gosh, she was good in that red sun outfit. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm saying? The third movie in the Conan trilogy. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And there's a reboot happening, so let's see what Melody Mac has to say about it. Boomers, it's me, Melanie Mac, here on my nerdy commentary channel, Melanie Mac Go Boom. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Let's go ahead and dive into today's topic, which is about Red Sonja. And I've made a video about this before in the past. We've got new updates. Things are actually looking promising. I want to thank Watley okay. on Twitter for tagging me on this topic and asking for my input. I'm happy to share it. So, as the title implies here, by Bounding into Comics, which I love this publication. I get so many of my video topics from them. <laughs> Red Sonja ditches race swap. Cast Matilda Lutz as title heroine under Solomon Kane. Direct. Solomon Kane. If you haven't seen Solomon Kane, do yourself a favor. Check it out. Jay the Purefoy. Perfection. That movie. Cast crew. Excellent. Virtual soul. Performance by everyone involved in that movie. Okay, this is good. They're not erasing the redheads. Hey, we some redheads up in here. Don't have a lot of them. Let's go. Come on. Not today. They've already been doing this, but but not today. <laughs> in a particular in a particularly surprising move given the current direction of Hollywood and comic book adaptations in particular, Millennium Media have backtracked on their plans to race swap Red Sonja for her upcoming solo film. As announced by the production company on August 23rd, following the exit of Ant-Man and the Wasp star Hannah John Kamen from the role earlier this year due to scheduling conflicts. The iconic red-headed warrior is now set to be portrayed by portrayed by Revenge uh, and a classic horror story star Matilda Lutz. Now, I don't I'm not super familiar with her. I think it's my first time even seeing her. I think she's beautiful. She's got a very like natural naturally beautiful features to her and so she got a cute face she got a cute face pretty cute so i think she's really going to be able to pull off a good red sonia without you know having to have a crap ton of makeup on uh she just I i'm getting the vibes i'm getting <laughs> the vibes that you would need lutz will be joined on screen by actress wallace day and actor robert shihan who have been cast as star in the film as Red Sonja's villainous sister, Anicia and Dragon. Presumably a misspelling of the character of Zimoran Emperor Dragon the Magnificent, respectively. Millennium Media also confirmed a previous report that the film has found a new director, officially revealing that Solomon Kane 
2009's MJ Bassett would be taking the reins from previous Helmer, the non-binary identifying and self-declared feminist Joey Soloway, who notably replaced Brian Singer in the role after. See why you go do all that, put all that stuff in there. Just say, see these people, these art calls, you know, slides. Have to put all that stuff in there. I mean, come on. It's ridiculous. He was hit in 2019 with the latest lawsuit to accuse him of assaulting a number of underage boys because, I mean, this is Hollywood we're talking here. And this is what I find so ironic about all this media, all these TV shows like She-Hulk, for example. It is just straight out the gate. You're getting preached at instantly now i was gonna make a whole video about she hulk and i might since i did endure the first two episodes <laughs> but uh, i am uh, as i am filming this i'm about to hop on to the critical drinkers after hours show with a panel of awesome nerdy women from this space and we're going to talk about it so i'm going to save most of my talking points for that but if you guys still want to see a video going deeper in my opinions let me know in the comments. But yeah, it just feels ironic to be preached at with these types of shows and movies and so on and so forth. And to be virtue signaled and just to be like, hey, you know, you need to do better. Blah, blah, blah. Take responsibility. Oh, poor women. Oh, poor this. Oh, poor that. Um, we need more representation. You know, demonize white people, this, that, and the other. Meanwhile, the people who are behind these shows and who direct them, who write them, who make these happen are very, 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 very often some of the most corrupt people imaginable. Okay? Facts. No lies detected. So we're taking, we're taking advice on being a good person from Hollywood? This is the thing is people replace, people replace religion, okay? This is why I am of the firm opinion most people are religious whether they admit it or not. If they're not finding it in a religion, you know, I'm a Christian, I'm it, I, I, I'm very proud of that. And it's just like, okay, hey, this is where I'm at. <laughs> but a lot of people who claim to not be religious just find it in other ways. And in these kind of cases, which I've I've even tweeted about it when it comes to the woke movement in general, I've tweeted about it, talked about it. It's a it's a religion, and so essentially they're mm -hmm. going to church whenever they're watching their MCU shows. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to church. They're receiving their message yes. and they're passing it on. It's just that is the religion that they chose. I I'm hey. I'm happy with reading my Bible, but hey, I guess to each their own. But I do not like it. I do not like the woke religion. All right. So anyway, however, despite Soloway's exit, the former director is still credited as one of the film's two screenwriters. The other being the showrunner for Netflix's upcoming Tomb Raider animated series. Don't even get me started on that. I think it, it sounds like it's just going to be an absolute dumpster fire. The Tomb Raider animated series. Not even to mention everything. And I have so many videos unpacking everything going on with Tomb Raider. And a lot of things that have gone on. Yeah, I'm not watching that. If you Tomb Raider right now, I'm not watching none of that. Garbage. Absolute trash. What Tomb Raider is a property in general. That's just a big discombobulated mess. Without Angela Jolie. Oh, no parts of it. Yes. Don't even get me freaking started. All right. In a statement released alongside the news, Bassett excitedly recalled, I've wanted to make a Red Sonja movie ever since I was a teenager. She has been a powerful presence for me and a character that I have always wanted to bring to the screen with my own voice and vision. And you like to see that. I personally think it's cool whenever people can find that balance between creating something new, uh, you know, taking an existing property and staying faithful to it. Can we just appreciate how good Melanie Matt looks? Every video. And the woman's immaculate as well, by the way. She's got some, like she some Tomb Raider stuff over there. Some, yeah, she's got a massive Tomb Raider fan. Got Tomb Raider shrine in the back. <laughs> But yeah, let me back. 
through it. But then it's it's so cool if they add their own spin to it as long as they don't completely uh, gut it and change it into something different. In that case, it's like then you're only using the property for its name and you're not respecting it. Now, I wanted to see uh, some pictures of this actress just to kind of get an idea mm. of how I think, you know, she could portray the role. Like I said earlier, I think she's very pretty. Um, I think she could do fine. Like, freaking give her that Hollywood, the Hollywood fitness routine treatment. Don't even, you know, I say when you're going for a role like this, you're going for a role with Red Sonia, a very muscular, strong woman, but, you know, she's... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's this is the problem with Carol's now because they have these very slender women going for these kind of physically demanding characters. They have to have a certain physique because you're not really running around in, uh, those kind of prehistoric times looking all slim and slim. Duh, that's what happened, bro. You've got to be beefy as freak. Yeah, look. Yeah, look. Incredibly muscular. They kind of live in that kind of time. He's kind of, you know, look lean. Very lean. So, um, the way they picked him in that, though, in the movie, the original movie, and which brings no sense, she's muscular. She's just a great physique, great, great look. That's how very strange she does look, really. Uh, by right, but. In terms of like the comics and how they do it here and stuff like this, graphic novels, that's how she should look, stuff like this. She doesn't have to be like overly big, obviously, she doesn't have to be like thick, thick, because she can obviously be thick. Hey, she's got to be a thick, thick. You know, it's got to be like athletic looking as well at the same time while, she, while she's curved out, you know. Uh, she's going to be like maximized woman, you know what I'm saying? She's going to be like woman at peak physical fitness so she's got to look like and most of these kind of these horror movies they don't fit that bill they don't do it they don't put the work in they don't have the fitness regime to do this you know what i'm saying they don't hit the gym they don't hit no they don't hit the weights they don't do any weight training you know what i'm saying where, where's the there's no weight gain happening there it's doing all flipping squats and that's what they're doing in there so what the heck nothing's being taken seriously She's still very curvy as well. Very feminine, uh, but very strong at the same time. And you see different... See, because you got the slim one there. That's obviously, that's, that's a more stylized version of Resonia. That's probably the version they're going to do. Because she isn't very... She's not very muscular. The person who's going to be playing the role. So I guess they're going to go with this slim... But I want her to be at least lean. With some muscular definition in there, at least. And this needs to show that she's been putting in work. You know, so there has to be some definition there. It has to be. Especially for a role like Red Sonia, she's she's flipping, she's medieval slash she's prehistoric, it's probably from like the dinosaur era or something like that. Well, so they say she's from the prehistoric era. Different interpretations of her because I mean, uh, uh, different femininity and strength can can come packaged in different ways. You know, for example, here you've got she's still definitely got some good muscle mass to her, but she's very lean, uh, very tall and lean and. Uh, more svelte in this Michael Turner representation uh, versus something like this or especially this where she's more of that fit thick. I don't personally think that there's a best way to approach this with her, but I, I like the aesthetic of the fit thick woman. I yes, yes. <laughs> there, we do. there we go there we go there we go that curvy that's how lara croft was so you know even though that's not my body type i i do love it uh with female protagonists i think it's very hey i don't like all the shows that in conan bro but that's my kind of hero right there bro if i was gonna be a hero from those from those ages I'm picking on a short stack of protest. That's my body type right there. I don't have that physique myself. I wish I did, but I don't. But um, yeah, that's my idealistic look. Very hyper feminine, but strong at the same time. 
and it looks good. So I say when it comes to Matilda, like, dude, do what you got to do. Do what you do for, like, men who are getting prepared for roles. Have her lifting the weights. Put her uh, safely on PEDs if you have to, which I wouldn't advocate that for right. Damn, PEDs. Snap, she's too many. He's going in. Oh. The people, but just saying, get her in. She wants her yo. She wants her jacked, which she should be. Just saying. Let her look the role, which they, they'll probably use CG and stuff as they do, like with Natalie Portman and all that. But I want to see. Uh, go in on this, man. Go in on this. I want to see a very ripped, a very shredded, but still curvy uh, look here. I think that could be awesome. I think she could pull it off. Uh, I, I, I think she could. This is definitely a step in the right direction. Now, Hannah John Kamen, I think, is a beautiful woman. But, I mean, let's be real. When you're casting for an existing character, you really want the character to look like... Uh, the actor to look like the character, uh, you know, ideally. In an ideal scenario. And it, when it comes to redheads in general, they are so much more rare. So, if you're really talking about representation, then erasing redheads isn't the way. Because... Dude, redheads don't get hardly any representation. They just don't. So, I... I, I... It's true. Redheads, they really rare now this Hollywood this. Siobhan from uh, Succession. Gorgeous woman, this. Oh, anyhow. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Hey, bro. Bro. I just, I just fancy booked. I just fancy booked. In my head. Bruh. 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 I don't want to see Siobhan. Oh, what is her name? Bro? Oh, shit. Sarah Snook. Bro, whoa. This one is fine. Bro. This one is. This is. Oh, this, imagine her doing Sonic. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Imagine her as weird Sonic. Oh, my Gosh, what is it? Oh, yeah, this is my kind of Sony right here. Look at that. Yes. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. my kind of red Look at that. Oh my gosh. No. No. Oh my. But anyway, that's my oh, that's a great fancy costume right there. Oh, Sarah Snook. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Oh, for sure. I need to call that. Okay, for sure. But I'm here for it. All right, well, there you have it for today's video. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next time. Also, check in my description uh, where you can follow me all over the interwebs. Thank you all again for hanging out with me. I will see you next time. And in the meantime, go boom. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, share, subscribe too. Man, hey, Mac, go boom. There we go. And yes, for Sonya, we do. Hey, it's gonna be interesting to see how they do it. Solomon Kane, director. Yeah, yeah. I think he'll do it right. I think he'll do it right. The script writers, the screenplay, play hey, that has to be done well. Ah, what that nonsense up in all red Sonya movie, bro? I don't know. Modern day audiences. Modern day audience garbage. I don't want that, bro. I don't want that. Let's, let's uh, stay away from that nonsense, please. Please. So, yeah, tell me you guys think in the comment section down below. You think of Mary Mac, go boom. You're a fan of us. If you're not a fan, be a fan. You know what I'm saying? Go subscribe to our content. Go for a follower as well. She's on a lot of socials. Um, so yeah. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Push notification bell, say it to all settings. I'm in your inbox all day, every day. Put in the comments in the comment section down below. I love interacting with my peoples. And you know where to find me. So, wherever you are, there are nice. Stay safe out here in these streets. It's a legend of all one on one signing out. Peace.